WhatsApp, Bricks. What is that and how do you measure it? And you know, how does that really relate to the flavor? I mean, you kind of touched on it a little bit. I don't know if there's anything else to be said about that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, it's not a common practice to, to look at the Bricks level inside of a plant for, for, um, for, for the hydroponic industry. You know, we, we want to go for yields and that's usually where we, where we get to with it. And that's where it stops. Um, because your bricks level isn't going to tell you what your yields are going to be. In fact, there's usually a, a trade-off high bricks usually means lower yielding plants. Um, but bricks itself is the, essentially the total dissolved solids of the plant. Um, we're putting, you know, uh, calcium, we're putting different minerals, different ions into the plant. And the plant is going to have different amino acids and proteins and lipids and tannins and um, uh, phenolic compounds that get turned into terpenes and other active compounds. And all, all those are, are loaded within the sap of the plant, um, the fluid of the plant, like like the blood in, in, in humans is like the, the sap inside plants. And so na- naturally, you know, if we have, if humans have thin blood or if we have blood that is low in iron or we have something's wrong with our blood something is very wrong with the human body same thing with plants where if our sap level is thinned out or your total dissolved solids is 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 lower than where it should be that's where plants are going to start getting attacked by pests and that's where the plants are going to start getting uh picked out and itemized by the different insects that are, that are migrating throughout the year or are growing in in that area um, and the BRICS level is a, the BRICS, the a BRICS test is a test that we use to, to see ourselves where the nutrient, where the total dissolved solid level is within the plant. So it's a, it's a positive correlation. So, you know, you have higher total dissolved solids, you have a higher BRICS content, which means the plant has more molecules inside of itself to protect itself from, from pathogens, um, from different insects itself. Pests don't prefer the the plants with a high bricks level because they have antimicrobials and 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 compounds that are not attractive to the insects itself um so we 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 measure the health of the plant based on the bricks level now we 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 in agriculture we will use this on grapes to see what the sugar content is because dissolved sugar inside the sap is one of the, the 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 contents that we measure inside the bricks test so we measure fruits and vegetables with bricks testing to see where the, the, where the sugar levels at wine, uh, making wine. They're huge into bricks testing forage to n- measure how much nutrients is in the grass that we feed the cattle, um, is we use a bricks test for that. So it's, it's really telling us how many molecules are in the plant at one time and higher water content means lower nutrient, which means lower, uh, the, the nutrient density inside the plant is at a lower rate. And so that tells us we need to do, we need to adjust what we're feeding the plant to increase the bricks level. So it's just a, it, it's simply put, it's just a measurement that we can just tell the general overall health and dissolve solids within the plant. And so the sap is, is the fluid that we can, that we can taste. Um, think about a hot house tomato. You know, you have a tomato that's uh, the, 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 the fleshy, uh, or light red, very watery tomatoes. You, our bricks test, test on that is going to be way low. That's mostly water. And that's why tomatoes taste like water now. It's because we grow them with salt, with nitrogen and salts, you know. And when you have a nice organic grown tomato, it's, it's deep red and it has, it has acidity, acidity to it and it has flavor to it. And real tomatoes taste like a fruit. And not like a watery, fleshy, meaty, you know, vegetable. We want to make sure that the plants that we are growing hydroponically in our industry are having a higher bricks content compared to higher, having a higher EC content inside, in, inside the medium or inside the reservoir. So it's a, it's a practice that we don't see a lot of inside the hydroponic industry that we should see a lot more of. Because that's ultimately what's going to tell us like where the flavor is at at the end of the plant's life. Understood. Yeah, I've heard about bricks and how it relates to pests. For example, I've heard that if it's 12% or greater, pests won't attack the plant as it would with a, a plant with lower bricks levels. But I didn't know bricks actually relates also relates to the terpene content in the plant. So that's super interesting. Now, I know you need a, a bricks refractometer in order to actually do the measurements. You can get that online. 
think uh, Amazon, you get a cheap one for like 20 bucks, or you can get a digital one for, I think it's like 150 ish bucks. Those digital ones are really cool, actually. Do you think all people should be having one of those and, and testing the plants? I, I think it's a great tool to have. And as a grower, we should have every tool we can. You know, we should have pH probes that go into our soil that tell us the, the pH of our soil. We should have EC probes. You should have pH meters for water. You know, we should have every tool we can possibly have. Um, I prefer the digital ones for the refract- refractometers, especially when it comes to plant, like plant matter and not, um, not fruit or vegetables. When you're measuring plant matter, um, I, I like the digital ones because they're a little bit better at reading um, compared to your eyes, seeing it refracting, all the sugars and things refracting inside the scope. And then how often should they be doing a BRICS test? I mean, if they take a test today, for example, then do a change within their garden, when's an appropriate time to do the next test? So the the, the best way I look at it is we want to use this as part of our eyes. Like you're taking soil slurries or measuring runoff and that's your eyes for what's in the pot. You also want to have your eyes for what's in the plant. Mind you, this isn't going to tell you how many terpenes you have. This isn't going to tell you how many calciums you have or how many sugars you have inside your plant. It's just going to give you a vision of overall plant health. And when you're going through, um, you know, stressful times, it's, it's, it's just helpful to see where the plant's at and, 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 and its general health. I like the digital ones um, specifically for plant matter because it's uh, it, it's still more accurate as far as like what's in the plant itself, and you don't have to use your eyes. But more so, um, it's really hard to squeeze plant matter and get the the juice out of it. Um, so I usually have like you only need like a drop or two of of the sap of the plant. So I usually take like a garlic press and just pack it in there and just squeeze. Um, and it's like one or two drops goes on the digital reader and it just tells you immediately what it is. Zero guesswork. Um, Hannah makes a great instrument for that. Um, also along with with the, the type of instrument, um, you also want to make sure that you're using the proper part of the plant. Um, so plants are always changing. They're always, always evolving. They're always developing further. So I like to do once a week, kind of just test on 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 my my bricks just to see where the plant's at and i can usually see a deficiency before it happens by measuring the bricks just because the plant will start to utilize its reserves and it'll start to um it'll it'll, it'll, t- it'll tell you it kind of be like a quick a quick tip before the plant you know starts to show speckling or a plant starts to show yellowing the leaves but you know once a week works once every other week also works um, just the plant changes so fast, so often that you just want to have just a frequent and like it, t- it takes two seconds. Um, you can take a leaf or take a petiole, which is probably the better place to, to take the, 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 con- the, the sample from, um, and then press it and get a drop or two out and let the reading tell you where you're at. This clip is brought to you by AC infinity. Use discount code Mr. Grow at 15 to save on any of their products. Thank you.